Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Place of Binding Wise Rebirth. Really quick one in our last run. Okay, we almost ran the lost. I'm open to it, man. I think I've shown that time and time again. GA3ABX03. It's just nice to be aware, you know, of uh, whether or not you're going to be playing as the lost. This could be a library. I'm a little skeptical because it wasn't right next to us uh, at the very, very start, so it could easily be a shop as well. But you know what? As Isaac, I think it's worth the key to try to, to check. If we can get a key, that is, which is looking skeptical right now. I will try this. I, I usually find this a pretty okay value proposition. It didn't work out for us there. That's okay. Of course, it's it's not a very good value proposition if you don't actually get literally anything. But uh, if we'd gotten a black card out of that, we would have been sitting pretty. Or you never know what kind of cards you can get as well. Now, if you could just... Die, that would be good. Uh, every, you know, room that we go to, without finding a key, makes this library less and less palatable to me. Because I'd really like to get one or two rerolls uh, for it, to try to turn our library into like a quintuple item room or whatever we're going for. But, um, it seems ever increasingly likely to A, not be able to be open, since we don't have a key yet. And B, um, actually be a shop, based on the fact that we haven't seen our other key room yet. So I'm thinking this is probably not going to be that viable for us. My heart was in the right place, I think. Yeah, that's actually our shop. Okay. Well, I tried. I've got libraries on the... Oh, bad damage. Bomb would be good here. There's a tinted rock, but... Got libraries on the on the brain since Kate and I were playing... Uh, we were racing against Mathis last night to try to get a ball of bandages, or a bandage girl specifically, before... Uh, before he did. So he was always like holding R, looking for a library off the start to try to get... Uh, Reroll into Book of Revelations or something like that. I think Concussive Tears is totally worth taking. No bombs out of this, but, uh, well, okay, be careful what you wish for, I guess. We, uh, should have saved our bomb. I misplayed this floor, which means that you have an advantage if you're watching at home. Don't use your bomb on those skulls. Instead, blow up that tinted rock. Maybe you end up getting a small rock or something like that. But even a spirit heart is better than what we got here. But I'm gonna keep Concussive Tears. I think they're, they're acceptable. I don't like that they confuse enemies and make them a little less predictable, but I do like that they give us a small damage bonus, uh... And, and really, for the most part, I don't, I don't turn on my nose at any damage bonus. And you can see we did a pretty good number on uh, our boss here. Uh, I did take damage because I tried to dodge in the worst way possible. But um, not a hard boss fight. Still doing fine on time. And we'll be looking for more DPS here. I don't really care about uh, HP, but if we get it, I'm not going to re-roll it. But I will re-roll that. And we re-rolled it into more HP. So, 4 HP and we're pretty much in the same situation we were in at the start of our last Eden run. Which is, don't take damage. Don't even worry about your time right now. Probably should move maybe slightly further away from the spike as you walk by it. A little ballsy. Um, now we need a bomb, because there is a tinted rock on the last room. You'd be very likely to find a spirit heart in it. And again, be careful what you wish for, I guess. What's the matter, NL? You're not going to talk about how that room's probably a library? No, I've learned my lesson a little bit. These are small floors. It could be a library. It's just not... Uh, it's not the most likely of all possible outcomes. So we'll open up a seam, and then we'll we'll fold in, basically. We took out the top, that allows us to then take out the right. Having taken out the right, we'll go bottom left, and once the bottom left is cleared out, which it already is, we can just uh, you know use that as a base of operations to take over the board here. Good. Um, still, okay, we got a key now, so I can go back and go to the item room. I'm a little skeptical of doing so, because I think I might walk into the spikes, but let's give it a shot anyway. I think we spawned at a relatively good interval to make that happen. And the parasite is well worth the cost of doing business here. Uh, let's come down here because I don't... Oh, almost walked on the spikes. Uh, I don't want to have to go through this area again. Although now that I look at it, we definitely will want to go to this area again because we want to go through the uh, curse room. But it's alright. It's just every time I go through this room, it's a little bit of a liability. Envy fight could be worse. Of course, it could be much better. It could not exist, but uh, mostly I'm I'm relatively content, relatively safe. We got a little bit of a damage upgrade. I don't know how much the parasite's actually going to help us against uh, against envy. I don't think it's it's going to be very likely for it to hit multiple times as a result. But I guess that time I was mistaken. Yo, stop being so confused. I need you to move in the same direction. <laughs> Otherwise, it's actually hard for me to predict what's going to happen. Eh, maybe the Parasite's not doing too badly for us. It would be better if we had a larger hitbox or piercing shots, but uh, we can make that happen on our deal with the devil here. I have the utmost confidence we've got it in ourselves to, to make that happen. 
Okay, so you are dead. Now we got two of these guys who will split into two each as well. This guy's almost ready. Each one of these waves is like four shots. So every time we can actually just thrash them and get in like two or three quick ones, that pretty much makes them dead. So we're done. Effectively. We got shoop the whoop. Disappointing, because that unfortunately means I'll have to come back here to reroll that, or I'll have to abandon it and get nothing out of it. So, not ideal, but not the end of the world either. Now, a bomb uh, would be better here, because we don't have to walk through the spikes to use it. And, you know, even more so here, obviously. I wonder if I can get this guy up here. Try to kill him, like, over here. Yeah, yeah, blow up right there. Blow up right there. Ah, uh, it's good, it's good. Just stand back. Wow, okay, I think it's good, but it's not what I was looking for specifically. Um, let's blow this up. You know what? Give me Tinted Rocks. Uh, give, sorry, give me Spirit Hearts here, and then we'll get Small Rock from the other one. But I don't think I even want to go to the other one yet. Um, we'll stick with this one for now. Make sure we don't royally fuck up, hit the spikes, and then like lose our last remaining HP against Dingle. Instead, we'll like, you know, vastly increase our chances of not taking uh, Red Heart damage against Dingle. Get our deal with the devil with the reroll time perfectly, and then figure the rest out from there. I mean, this is a run that's going pretty well so far, and we've got a really nice uh, base with Parasite for future synergies. But what we're going to need is um, something like Death's Touch, or just like really, really fast rate of fire or damage. In order to, uh, or really high damage, I should say, in order to, to really make the Parasite shine here. But we'll see. Death's Touch would be ideal. Ideal sometimes does happen. I think we might as well take that. We're not going to spend four on the deal with the devil anyway. We'd be lucky to. We got Pentagram. It's uh, a great pickup. Let me just leave it at that. It's not an A-plus pickup, but it's solidly in like the B-plus range, I think. Good damage, which we want. Uh, cheap, that's fine. And also gives us a um, greater chance of getting more deals with the devil in the future, which might be the uh, the best part of it from a long-term perspective. Might even, might even give it an A-minus if I'm giving out grades like that. And it's also one of those items that is not really situational. Like, it, it's just it's just good. Uh, it, it's always going to be useful for you, I think. I, I can't think of a situation in which it wouldn't be. So we are going to go to our curse room. Oh my god, I almost walked on the spikes again. We are going to go to our curse room, and we got Guppy's head out of that. That's a great reroll sync for us. Also, of course, gives us a Guppy item and three flies. And, yeah, one spirit heart for the pact plus... Uh, the Guppy's Head principle is, or the Guppy's Head item, I guess, is just incredible for us right there. The Pact is going to be awesome for us. Increased damage, increased rate of fire, uh, and really, again, helping out with the Parasite and making the Pentagram that much better as well. This is a crazy good start as uh, Isaac, hopefully, well, I'm looking at it now. Let's try to run our math again. It's like 135% chance of a deal with the Devil times 0.4. So that's like, uh, oh god, I've gone cross-eyed again. Well, normally it would be 25%. And then you're adding a quarter of 35%, which is like 8.5 or something, 8.75. So you're looking at like a 30-something percent chance. I think I said like 43 last time, but you're like a 1 in 3 chance of getting a, uh, a deal with the devil. I think I'm just going to... Uh, let's get a reroll before we go to our curse room. Uh, this is all assuming we don't take red heart damage, in which case our odds fall drastically, but... Um, I'll, I'll take those odds, because they're like better than any other odds we could possibly hope to get anyway, so we might as well be happy with them. Another spirit heart for us. Uh, I'm just going to treat that as, as what it is, which is basically free access to our curse room once I get a reroll ready there. Of course, we can make our odds even better with a uh, black candle, but we're not going to have the money to buy that unless something goes drastically right for us in the near future. It's a very, like, traditional Isaac run right now. This is kind of what you want out of an Isaac run at this point. Oh my god, we actually could buy a black candle if it's for sale, which it probably won't be, but could be. I'll buy Sharp Plug, and my reasoning there is we have enough HP to just milk Sharp Plug on a deal with the Devil and, and really try to pull a, a great item from it. Uh, and we, speaking of a deal with the Devil, we're going to fight our boss right here. And again, got kind of like a 1 in 3 chance, slightly better maybe, of getting a, uh, a deal with the Devil. So we'll make sure this works before we go to our Curse Room. And again, we could just, on our Curse Room, uh, we could use our Sharp Plug. Trade away our HP for the chance to get better items anyway. Almost hit spacebar there. I wouldn't recommend that. Peep fight. This will actually be a very good test for how our damage actually looks. And, uh... I mean, it's a little early to tell. Let's just leave it at that. I don't like the knockback, but I think that's more of a, an effect of this champion version of peep than it is anything else. Stay still. 
He has dodged in place, and he's more than half dead, so it's going relatively well. I mean, our damage couldn't really be that much better than it is right now. It's not like I'm using uh, the way that this is going right now as a means to judge our current damage uh, against where we could have been. It's more like judging... I can't believe we didn't get hit there. It's more like judging how strong I had expect to be in the future. That was bad damage on my part as well, but... Um, almost done here, and now officially done. Boss item is a range upgrade. So, I mean, that's obviously a juicy reroll target, but I'm not going to reroll it yet, just in case. Uh, you know what? Let's reroll it right now. I was thinking we'd save our reroll for the shop. Speed upgrade is better, not shop, uh, curse room. But it's actually better for us, I think, to um, just reroll it into something that could be useful right now, and then we'll save, again, the chance for a um, sharp plug benefit on our, our curse room here, if we even get an item, which is unlikely, but it, it can happen. And did not, but again, uh, Isaac, uh, traditionally, you know, a win is made up of all sorts of little, little percentage chances coming together for you, and that's pretty much where we're at here. This is actually a library for us. Oh, so I want, okay, smarter than I look sometimes, because I wanted to um, make sure that we can reroll as many times on this library as possible, so I use sharp plug quickly. Uh, first off, we want, like, good books. I am going to do that, and then we're going to get Satanic Bible back here. I, I want the opportunity to basically turn our library into, um, into a, uh, an item room. A double item room, it doesn't appeal to me that much, but definitely a, uh, a greater than double item room is, is amazing. It's going to take us a long time. There's a lot of books in the rotation. You, it's easy to forget about that, but there really are a lot of books in the rotation in Isaac, so I don't think we're going to be able to do it on this floor, at least not if we want to keep ourselves alive, which is also a pretty big, you know, element, I think, for me. Um, but uh, let's knock this guy out and see what happens there. More money. Great with two of diamonds. Reroll these two. We get Book of Belial, um, which I'm just going to use, and maybe that'll give me a guaranteed deal with the devil when I walk back into the boss fight. Maybe I had to be carrying it, though. I don't know. So we'll use that again. We get Anarchist Cookbook, we get Book of Shadows, um, I, I shouldn't, I really shouldn't use it again. Which is unfortunate because I don't know if there's a battery charge in our shop. Maybe we'll be able to generate like a nice reroll, but uh, hopefully we get more libraries in the future because we really put in work on that one. We've taken something like 8 books, 10 books out of the rotation. There's still a lot more to go. Surprising amount, you know, I don't think we've seen Telepathy for Dummies, we still have... Uh, uh, Telepathy for Dummies, we still have Monster Man Well, we still have, um, Dead Sea Scrolls, which counts, we, uh, I think we, maybe we have seen How to Jump, I can't remember. But, um, we, we've done work, we still have our item room available here too, and you know what, we might as well do our boss trap room, or mob trap room as well. Uh, sure, yeah, gave us a spirit art, why, why not, we're pretty excited about that. And we could still have a deal with the devil since we popped Book of Belial, but I think you have to be carrying it, it's like, a lot of spacebar items lose their effectiveness when you're not holding them. For example, you know, if you use Book of Shadows and then drop it and pick up another item while Book of Shadows is active, you lose the ability to fly, I think. The Bible doesn't work like that, which is weird, but... You know, just, uh, you know, scripting, basically, I think. Probably the Bible should work like that. Or maybe they all shouldn't work like that, but... It is what it is. We're at, uh... Well, definitely enough money to buy a battery charge if one exists on the shop. Still have this in our item room. We might have enough rooms to just generate a reroll. And if we can generate a reroll, especially if we can go through this without getting hit, if we can generate a reroll, um, we we might be able to get two, or even if, if I'm feeling particularly daring, three extra rerolls. But Virgo's good. Nothing wrong with that. It all depends on actually being able to get one extra room out of this, which we're not going to be able to do. So we're going to fall too shy there. Great name for a rapper who is like really self-conscious. Um, I still think buying a, a battery for five cents is great. And there is one. Uh, and the reason I think this is great is because we can get at least two more rerolls out of this. And just, if we ever find another library, this really expedites the process of us getting, uh, getting to the item room. So there's Book of Revelation. So and I'm not going to say it paid for itself, but it's something. Oh, I should have two of diamonds first. And then we'll do this again. Get Book of Shadows. And Monstrous Tooth. So we are in item room territory now. I can't uh, sharp plug until that ended. Uh, we definitely want piercing shots. I don't really give a shit about uh, Swarm Protector. We'll reroll it into basically a speed upgrade because we already had piercing shots. But I feel like that is better. 
And um, I think I'm just going to buy maybe our Red Heart and our Spirit Heart. You know what? We probably don't need to buy the Spirit Heart. Why not to use two of diamonds there? I don't want to double three cents. I'll just wait until maybe we blow up our donation machine a bunch of times. And this has turned out fantastically for us. We still got protection for a deal with the devil that we'll likely get on the next floor. Um, we now have piercing shots. We got some speed upgrades. Uh, it, it's good. I mean, it's really, really good. Range kind of sucks. Where did that come from? Maybe it's the first time I've been attacking enemies that are far away. We also completely screwed ourselves out of boss rush. We're like one floor short of boss rush, but... I don't really care if we can continue to get libraries, because now every library is just like a, a spare item room. Also, we got something um, that is probably better than my average boss rush pickup, teleporting or not, which is uh, piercing shots. We got two different versions of it. Uh, obviously, the one was kind of redundant, but the speed upgrade from, from um, Sagittarius is not bad. It makes Cupid's arrow redundant, more so, but... Mostly, I, at some point, I had to compromise and get out of there as well. I don't think Swarm... I would rather have a speed upgrade, probably, than Swarm Protector. So, I don't feel bad about my rerolls. Pill is... Range up. Explosive Diarrhea. Yeah, that was fine. I mean, a range upgrade... I was complaining about our range, so... It'd be a little hypocritical to complain about a range upgrade. Not my favorite pill, but... Uh, something we could use. Usable for sure. Uh, let's go to our boss fighter. At least a, a room where I can reroll something. Have an appropriate target there. Because right now, I can't go to the curse room and, and feel good about it. Because it'll give us a pretty good chance to fuck up our our chances. Ooh, interesting. Pretty good chance to fuck up our chances on the, uh, on the devil fight. Or getting to a devil fight. Getting to a devil deal. You know, one of these days I'll get the nomenclature correct. I'm not Carolus Linnaeus over here, okay? I didn't invent binomial nomenclature. I'm just a vessel for it to, you know, funnel through. I feel like this has been good play. Like, there's been some strong strategy and tactics. I don't always say that about myself. So if you'll allow me to toot my own horn a little bit, I will. This is, it actually is kind of a devil fight. We're fighting against the Fallen to get a deal with the devil item, and again... You know, our odds of getting a deal with the Devil now are like triple what they were on the last floor, which puts them pretty much at 100%. Um, if not, like, literally at 100%. And that's all thanks to, uh, well, that it's only if we don't take Red Heart damage. Thank you, Virgo, for ensuring that that would indeed happen. No deal? Am I, like, am I mistaken in my foundational knowledge of how uh, Pentagram works? Maybe I've done the math incorrectly. That's That seems surprising. Greed fight, uh, disappointing, but... Another floor to gain money, I guess. Yeah, and pretty much he just dropped like, uh, I guess, 10 cents for us there. Let's go to our curse room because we can. We'll take this eternal heart when we leave, obviously. Two black hearts. Could have gone in, but it, it ended up not making a difference. You got to hedge your bets on that one. Like, that, I can't be mad about that decision. You don't want to go in there and find a full of spiders, and all of a sudden you've cost yourself a good chance at a, a deal with the devil. Not a secret room, much to my surprise. Bomb for a key, only because... Nah, I shouldn't... I shouldn't have expected a secret room. It might still be a good trade, though. PhD is really good. We're at full health. We got a health upgrade, so we're going to get a lot of HP on this floor. We also got... Um, contract from below. So we'd be expecting uh, more chests to show up. If we could up our luck stat, maybe by... Well, I guess we're not going to be picking up a mom's key on this floor, but... Uh, if we could uh, up our luck stat, or like the number of chests that would drop... Or what would come out of those chests, we'd be in a great situation, but we don't have too much control over that, obviously. But it's looking like a, a really great run. We have to get a deal with the devil on the next floor. I don't think it's... Assuming we don't take red heart damage, I don't think it's mathematically possible for us to not get a, a deal with the devil on the next floor. Um, probably our secret room here. I think I'm playing it right. We're just kind of getting shit on by uh, bad RNG from devil deals. But every other form of RNG is working out okay for us. Two good pills, one range up, one luck up. Luck up is huge for us. 148 hour energy, and another luck up. What's our pill, or two of diamonds? We'll just pop two of diamonds, because I want to keep 48 hour energy with me. This will give me a lot of uh, non-sharp plug related reroll potential. Now, do you have something in here? I'm not, I'm not going to pay a bomb to get those, especially after just popping my two of diamonds pill. Enough bombs that I, I... Well, and PhD. So I'm, I'm going to be cracking mushrooms somewhat aggressively here. Cracking mushrooms also sounds like a... Like a James Bond villainous that 
uses like her feet to crush her testicles or something that. Hello, I am Blofeld, and this is my henchman, I mean my w girlfriend, Cracking Mushrooms. Just, just think about it. You can, you can picture it. Could be played by Nicki Minaj, it would be perfect. Hello, I'm Richie Cunningham, and this is my wife, Oprah. Uh, throw this down here. I mean, if we get a teleport card, we are on it now. Let's be, let's be real here. We're not gonna be cracking mushrooms. And my dreams are dead in that regard. Uh, because we're on the Nexel floor, and we were already on the second part of the caves when I said that. So, if I was gonna crack mushrooms, I've, you've missed your opportunity, baby. Uh, we're instead going to be... Bereft of a chance at boss rush, but we'll, we'll crack into these, uh, into these skulls. We could be cracking skulls. That's another name for a henchman. Probably not played by Nicki Minaj. More of like a Dwayne The Rock Johnson type, but, uh... It's gonna give us stuff like the Hero Font, for example, which is, of course, uh, always useful as long as we're not at full HP. Dry baby pickup wouldn't be the end of the world either. Uh, but mostly, this is all about the item rooms, and then that eventually or eventual deal with the devil. And really, that deal with the devil should be existing for us. I'm very surprised that with the pentagram, we sort of got fucked out of, like the this third floor deal with the devil. You don't expect it. The fourth floor deal with the devil, I wouldn't have expected to not get it. Oh man, Capricorn, so good. Alright, all of my salt is washed away. It'd be awesome to see a library on this floor too, but maybe I'm asking for a little bit too much. Oh, and we got the Virgo invincibility. It would be nice to get IV bag and have a, a kind of a juicy uh, reroll target. You know what? I would probably reroll blood bag at this point. Pulled a, quite a lot of money out of this. I don't know if Virgo's... Uh, Ability to proc is tied to our luck stat, but if it is, we should be in a great position. I don't really care if this costs me HP right now, I can afford it. And we're getting great coinage out of this. Yeah, okay. Well, you've taken all of my, uh, all of my HP, basically. But you did get me to 99 cents, so I'm not gonna complain too hard about this. Abel is re-rollable. The body... It's, it's surprisingly close. Can I say that? I know it's like 3 HP. But I still think it's surprisingly close. Because it's, uh... It's not HP we really want. Like, if it was Spirit Hearts, I'd be more interested. But I don't really want these right now. But it is... It is it's better. It's better to have it than not have it. Let's put it that way. Uh, just a little bit disappointing. But not very disappointing. Oh, be careful. I am a lucky so-and-so, I think, here. Uh, you know what? I'm like, why don't we use Sharp Plug right away? We'll get a full reroll charge, and then we can coast on that. Was this a smart idea? No. Was it clever? Maybe. If we find a shop quickly, basically this saves us from not being able to have a battery charge available if one is deemed necessary, I guess, but... Uh, if we don't end up finding a shop or something like that in the next three or four rooms, then it was probably suboptimal. We basically traded a spirit heart for nothing, but it was kind of cool, I think you got to admit. Northern Lion actually going hard on the sharp plug used here. Don't see that too often. Killing Pin very, very easily. Not necessarily an indication of this being a, an overpowered run. More an indication of us having piercing shots. Which I'm extremely happy about. Better two piercing shots than zero. Okay. Um, you know, we'd be better off with like a bloody penny. That would be a killer pickup for us. Turns out my sharp plug play was bad. It, the jury has been decided here. They've deliberated for six rooms and, and mathematically they are correct. It's hard to dispute their results here. Big floor, of course. We got lucky to find our item rooms pretty soon and... You know, we, we did pick up 4 HP out of those, plus the all stats bonuses, so... I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that this floor has been relatively kind to us. We gotta be getting close to the end of it, though. And, you know, I don't really care about playing the Blood Bank that much. We do need to go to our shop. Need is a strong word. We would like to go to our shop. We have 99 cents. Uh, we just fought Greed. At the very least, I could donate, and and if they'll take like all of my money, then I could make this donation machine more more salient for us in the future. There's nothing really of value in here that I would say, so I'm just gonna wedge myself back here, and we're gonna hope for uh, just a strong donation machine. I mean, when I picked this up, 
Kate's donation machine was at like 350, and I've gotten it down to 300 already, so anything that we can do is nice. Paralysis. I would argue this is probably not a good pill, but that's up to you. Um, pick up a spirit heart. Reroll. Deck of cards. We will buy. The moon. Don't really care about, honestly, but I guess we might as well hold it. What's our other one? Oh, 48 hour energy is way better. Um, which is why, yeah, I'm not going to use 48 hour energy yet. I'll just hold on to um, 48 hour energy instead to maybe use it within the confines of a single devil room or something like that. All right, so this is going to be, you know what? I really shouldn't just hurt myself here. I'm gonna see if we need a reroll. I mean, we should reroll what this guy gives us, but it's not that valuable. I'm gonna cling tight to this idea that we're gonna save 48 hour energy for our deal with the devil. I know we're not gonna be able to go back for that item. Uh, but I'm, I'm making a conscious decision to give us... If we're only gonna get one deal with the devil, I wanna be able to reroll it fucking a, a thousand times, right? So... That's pretty much what I'm going for here with this 48 hour energy pill being saved instead of just using it immediately. I guess we have sharp plugs, so we still could have just done that, but... Uh, I will... You know what? I don't think Little Brimstone's good enough at this point. I know that it, we're a little far into the game for its usefulness. So I'll re-roll it, and instead, we'll take two Guppy items, um, which makes the body just seem like a terrible pickup. But didn't we get Guppy's head? We did get Guppy's head, so now we're Guppy, so uh, we win. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it, but yeah, that it, it took a sack and a half to reroll Little Brimstone, but um, it, it ended up being, I think, the right decision. Especially considering, let's keep in mind, aggressive rerolls got us Hive Mind on the uh, on the shop, so we're doing decent damage. Our uh, our flies are going to be doing disgusting damage. Yera Hagalaz, Hagalaz Rune. Um, we could do something with this on on one of these floors. Cathedral maybe has more rocks, but, um, you know, we'll just use it right here. We got small rock out of it. That's awesome. And we will open these, I guess. That's another guppy item and teleportation to the deal with the devil. So we can take the... Uh, I don't know if we have to fight for the guppy item. We'll reroll Krampus' head into Sister Maggie. Pretty bad. Pandora's box on the womb one we'll use. I don't mind if it gives us HP. The Halo, okay, yeah, and Squeezy. That's an incredibly good haul. <laughs> that is just a, a fantastic haul from Pandora's box and this curse room in general. Wow, um, so another, yet another all stats upgrade. And Squeezy for extra tiers and all also, of course, the, the spirit hearts out of it. Uh, pretty absurd what we've got going on right here. Really, the last, like, seven or eight item chances have panned out in a great synergistic way. And also just great on their own merits as well. And Curse of the Blind did not uh, do anything to slow us down here. We might as well take the health upgrade. I don't think Explosive Diarrhea is worth anything for us, but... We'll come down here anyway. Um, we may get a deal with the Devil. And I've made a mistake and don't have rerolls ready. Alright, we, uh, we already fought Krampus. Instead we get Latch Key, which honestly, luck is one of the few stats that can actually still benefit me in a meaningful way. Especially considering we're going down to the chest. And we have a Humbling Bundle, so we'd be hoping to get as many chests as possible. And, and we should be able to do so. Not Humbling Bundle, sorry, a Contract from Below. Which is what the one that actually causes the chest to to join you. Uh, or to, to doubly join you. Probably don't just walk into the enemies, but... Hasn't been too much of a problem. Don't see a Tinted Rock. One of them was kind of obscured up there, but I still don't think there's a Tinted Rock. I believe luck does not affect our mulligan. Let's put it this way, our ability to spawn flies, so that's, I guess, slightly unfortunate because I think we have above average luck right now, but I'm, uh, again, it's hard to be discontented with the way this is going. Oh, uh, we will. Uh, yeah, you know, Hangman is not worth very much for us, but I will take Tammy's head. Sure, it costs us rerolls. I like Tammy's head, though. It synergizes well with, uh, with Guppy, I think. Not like we were having problems anyway, but if we can clear rooms faster as a result of this, then even better. Is it going to be faster? Maybe marginally. Not going to be a guarantee, but... We also have Sharp Plug, Tammy said. What an incredible synergy that is. Right, guys? I'm making the jerk-off motion with my hands. Yes, I'm making fun of myself. I know. Who would have thought it was possible? This Northern Line guy doesn't have a sense of humor. Hey, this Northern Lion guy keeps defaulting to this accent when he wants to sound, uh, ignorant. That's a little offensive. Let's see what we got going on in the It Lives fight here. You know, I probably should go with the D6, but... 
At this point, I'm happy with the Tammy's head setup. It's going to be really nice on rooms with a lot of enemies. Or with enemies in different positions from one another. And, like, piercing shots plus spawning so many guppy flies from it is uh, quite nice. We got really nothing doing here as far as, like, things to be afraid of. We're so super set that there's, like, nothing to be scared of. I, and I'll take Bob's brain. Why not? That's where we're at on this run right now. There's no reason not to take Bob's brain. We were going to get permanent Polaroid invincibility. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of reasons not to take Bob's brain. But we're going to take it anyway because those reasons don't apply to us right now. Um, we just got, like, our uh, fifth red chest item of the game. Somewhere in that vicinity. It's pretty amazing. Uh, this time it was... Man, D6 would have been good for us here. This time it was Guppy's Paw. Guppy's Paw is going to be useful for giving us the permanent Polaroid invincibility. Might as well crack these because I want keys, and you never... Oh, well, Wheel of Fortune is also good, but... Yeah, it's stupid of me not to crack these because we've already won. We should still try to get keys in case we get chests that we can't open. We only have five keys. It's not a ton. I think there might have been a Tinted Rock on that last room, too. Stars is probably not worth too much for us. Um, tinted Rock... Yeah, right there. Spirit Arts don't hurt. Golden Chest could have been interesting, but... I don't know how many items that you can get in a golden chest still remain. I can tell you one. Um, Cricket's head still has not been picked up. Okay, here we go. And I was like, if we can drop that Tammy's head just before he leaves, we should be able to get through this easily. And that's exactly how it went down. Uh, let's pop Wheel of Fortune down and then blow it up and see what we get in our chest. Experimental treatment is trash. Box of spiders, kind of trash. Unicorn stump, fairly trash. Um, Sissy Longlegs good, Stompy, or Leo, super trash on the chest, uh, if you get it in the early game it's okay. I'll go back for those keys if I need them. Right now I'm a little salty at how shitty our chest was. I'm surprised. Oh, two runes though. Two Algiz runes. I mean, we could roll a Unicorn Stump, but it's, it's just like... It doesn't matter if that makes sense, like, I, I don't even think Unicorn Stump is better, but... What it does is it, it gives us more invincibility, but slows down our ability to create flies. So, is it better? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Joker's good. We'll take that. Uh, but I don't really want the nail, either. So, what am I going to do with two Joker cards? Experimental Treatment is probably the worst of the whole bunch, but it, it's also one of the few that gives us the potential to get something more than what we put in. Oh, we'll definitely check that out. Of course, that was very bad damage on my part. We definitely don't need Unicorn Stump and Algiz Rune. We might as well take... Uh, my reflection. Our range is pretty good. Shot speed is not good, but um... Oh, we don't have Lump of Coal either, right? We rerolled Krampus' head. Yeah, uh, uh, this is actually a bad pickup, but again, probably not that meaningful for us. More keys. Mom's Contact makes everything better. That was uh, probably the first, like, really key pickup we've had. On this whole run, or on this whole floor. This run, we've had several good pickups. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but, um... Yeah, Mom's Contact is going to make this simpler on us. But everything else on this chest is... Especially considering that, you know, chest drops are doubled and our luck stat is good. Everything else has been pretty shitty. Ouija board. Sack dagger is okay. I mean, Ouija board we should take, but there's no reason... There's no reason not to take it, but there's also no reason to take it, basically. We already have piercing shots, and there's no rocks on the chest, so... You know, who are we trying to impress? Easy fight, though. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.